What's up, JB, Nate B, it's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. Yo, that always sounds like I'm about to go into a rap. It's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. This is about to be the highly anticipated, requested video. What's in my stripper bag? You guys really wanna know what's in this bag. It's really not as much as y'all think it is. I went and bought some stuff that I should have in this bag, that I don't have in this bag, and I'm gonna tell you why. To all the new dancers, I'm gonna tell you what belongs in your bag, and I'm gonna tell you what I have in my bag, okay? Okay, so, first things first, let's see what we have here. Oh, flip flops. Um, I got these for like $6 at Walmart. Um, these are good, and the reason why you need these is because, one, you don't want to put your feet on a dirty floor, okay? Um, you don't want to put your feet on the floor in the club, and the reason you would take your shoes off is because you have to take off your regular shoes to put on your dance shoes. Sometimes you want to walk around a dressing room and get yourself prepared. You don't want to walk around in your dance shoes, so you put a pair of flip-flops on until you get ready to hit the floor. Or, also, um, there's showers in a lot of clubs. Um, some people take a shower at work. Um, you definitely want to put flip-flops on when you get in the shower. I mean, just for hygiene reasons. You don't want to put your feet on the floor, on the shower floor, or whatnot. So, definitely need a pair of flip-flops. It don't have to be these. It could be some cheap dollar flip-flops. It doesn't matter. Bring a pair of flip-flops, okay? Next, I have shoe pads. These do not work, okay? Nothing works. Nobody has invented nothing for stripper feet. Your feet is gonna hurt regardless, but there are things that you can buy to soothe the pain or make it a little bit easier for you. Um, these are some shoe pads that I got from DSW, um, Designer Shoe Warehouse. Yeah, these are just some simple shoe pads that go inside my stripper boot. Okay, this is the uh, Plain Jane, that's what I like to call it. This is not the name of the shoe, but this is a plain Jane. This is a plain temp, like a, a plain um, black shoe. I wear a size nine, um, but these are typically um, the type of shoes that you want to dance in. I prefer to dance in um, ankle booty type shoes because this supports my ankle. A lot of girls dance in shoes that are like that have no ankle support. That's cool too, but I prefer I, I prefer ankle support, especially if you do pole tricks or anything like that. I think working um, for more than three or four hours, I, I like ankle support. So these are my ankle boots. These are, like I said, these are just a regular black pair. I think every dancer needs a pair of plain jeans, some regular black ankle boots, okay? They go with everything, okay? What else I got? This is a um, Steve Madden bag that I have completely dogged, okay? Dogged this bag. Um, we have some dance outfits in here. This is like, this used to be one of my favorite, favorite outfits. Now that I got the new boobies, girl, this just pops on my boobs. It's like a bandage top. Let me show y'all how it go. Okay. So, this part right here clips around my neck like this and then this part clips around my boobies like that yeah so just imagine that just picture that okay just picture that <laughs> but yeah this is a bandage outfit and it came with the bottoms i don't know where the bottoms at i just typically wear just a black thong with this oh let me just unclip it i have a lot of outfits in here i'm not about to go through all these outfits i'm gonna just go through the different kind of outfits i have this here is a just a plain I am a black person all I do not my skin tone like the color I prefer to wear I prefer to wear black that's just me I got some color in here but I'm really big on black so a lot of things I'm pull out is gonna be black this is just a cute little studded little one piece just gonna slip your legs into here your butt is cut out just gonna slip into there and pull it up okay a little cute one piece right here all right yeah this is my bag right here with my pasties in it um sometimes when it gets really really hot in the club i like to just put on pasties and a thong like it gets so hot i just put on pasties and a thong i'd be looking real real cute you could put some like belly beads on some pasties and a thong and call it a night girl real because in atlanta 
with us getting naked. We have to take off our outfit and sometimes I don't feel like hopping in and out of outfit. I'm trying to just make this money and go. Here go a clear ankle booty. Like I said, I usually only wear ankle booties, ankle boots. Let me tell you something about these clear ones, okay? This hurts right here in the front. This plastic rubbing up against your feet. I mean, you could break them in, but shoot, that process of breaking them in, it hurts. Um, also with these, you will sweat. You will sweat easily in these. They will fog up a little bit. Um, but yeah, these are cute, but those are the cons about these. You will sweat and the plastic does kind of hurt rubbing up against your feet. You guys, let me tell y'all, let me fill y'all in on a secret right here. No shade, not trying to knock nobody hustle or nothing like that, but baby, I go get my boots off of Amazon, okay? Just go type in pleaser and pleaser ankle boots or whatever. I get all my dance shoes off Amazon. They're at a wholesale price, they're at a great price. And yeah, because if you walk into some dance stores, I'm telling you, some plain ankle boots like this can cost you $100, um, probably $150 in some places. Like, girl, you can get these for like $80 on Amazon. Okay, this is a little throwback outfit for me. It's a little tore up a little bit. I had this for a while, but I love this u bra like type of outfit. Like, it boosts my boobs up. It's a u bra so when you put it on around your neck and you tie it in the back, it gives you like a boost right here in the front. So, that's one of that. Okay, let's get into some of the things that you need to pack, okay? Your makeup bag. Do not forget your makeup bag. This is a cute little bag with three to four um, compartments in it. And I put my brushes, I took all my makeup out. Um, I put my brushes here. I put my concealers and highlighters here. And then down in this big part is where I put a palette or more brushes or setting spray, bigger things right there. Just pack a small bag, okay? Let me tell you something about the strip club. You ain't gotta drag it out. Okay, you ain't got to drag queen yourself out. Some pretty lashes, um, maybe a little, you know, some makeup, just a little bit of makeup, some really nice brows. You ain't really got to do a lot, but if you an extra girl, girl, go extra, okay? Glitter, big highlight, go extra if you an extra girl. But if you're really not, I'm just telling you, you really don't have to be. Like I said, um, some of this stuff I'm about to tell y'all is stuff that I have not been applying, which I need to apply. I used to apply when I first started dancing, but now I just be like, whatever. Um, these are Ziploc bags. It is important to keep your outfit separate from your shoes because, you know, your shoes are, of course, duh, they on the ground, they're nasty, they're dirty, and then you're gonna throw them in the bag with your outfit. Like, they shouldn't be mixed up together like that. So what you wanna do is take your outfit, a clean outfit, um, fold them up, put them in down into the Ziploc bag. And I like to close mine midway so it could be some air just in case I did wear it the night before or I sweat or whatever and they don't get too funky or something like that. So I like to close them like kind of halfway so they have air so they can flatten out. So you put your outfits in Ziploc baggies and then put them in your bag. And that keeps them away from the shoe. Bring your preference of moisturizer. Mine is coconut oil. I keep coconut oil in my dance bag. Um, yeah, because I like that it gives me a shine. And also this is what I use on my body. Um, please don't laver yourself in baby oil or any type of oil if you're getting on stage. It makes the stage slippery for the next girls. It makes the pole slippery. It's just a mess. Also on top of that, you're gonna sweat. This crap is gonna make you sweat. Anything oil is gonna make you sweat. So I use this because I kinda been dancing long enough. I know how much to use. I know when I'm getting on stage. I kinda already know how to go about it. That's why I use this. But if you are a new dancer, just stick to lotion. Mix, this is how I do it. I'll put a dab of lotion and then dab a tiny bit of baby oil in the lotion and rub it in and rub it on your body just to give you that glow. Especially if you're a brown skin girl like me, you wanna be a little bit shiny. So yeah, just mix a little bit of baby oil and a little bit of lotion together. Not a lot because like I said, it makes the, the stage slippery for the next person or you're gonna get it on people's clothes or you're gonna sweat and it's just gonna roll down your body and you're just gonna be nasty and sweaty. Bring your preference of deodorant. Mine is Mitchum. I have to use this because everything else breaks me out. This is what I buy. Usually I buy the spray. The store didn't have any more spray. And um, with deodorant guys, try to keep the white, like try to get clear deodorant that don't turn white. And if it does turn white, just um, don't rub the whole, like don't rub the whole top underneath your arm. What I do is I smooth a little bit off the corner and I'll rub it in under my arms just to keep it from turning white. Um, don't use the white deodorant in the club because it just 
happens to look like little balls and it just does not look clean, it does not look classy, don't use the white deodorant. Use clear or use the spray in your preference of deodorant. Yes, you need baby wipes, girl. You need baby wipes. We're working throughout the night. You need to go freshen up underneath your boobies, you know, underneath your neck, and definitely down below in the uh, woman's area, also in the crack, okay? If you know what I'm talking about, you need to get in there and you need to wipe off, you know, every few songs, maybe even after every dance that you do, come clean up. You know, there's some clubs that are like saying um, they don't, I've been to a club that did not, the house mom did not have baby wipes. She kept giving us wash rags. And I'm like, is it really necessary for me to go in there and take a, a, a sink bath every single time I have a dance? No, that's not really necessary. Um, do you need Do you need to have a shower when you get to work? Yeah. And if you've been working pretty hard for like the last two, three hours, go to the bathroom and take a shower and come back fresh on the floor. But to go back there and take a bird bath every single time you have a dance, I don't think that's necessary. That's me. Um, I can just go use a baby wipe and just kind of freshen myself up. So that's what I prefer. Get you, a baby, get you some baby wipes. Nine times out of 10, the house mom is going to have them but you never know. A lot of this stuff that I'm telling you guys that you should have in your dance bag, your house mom should have, but you just never know. It's better safe than sorry. Your preference of soap in a soap container. Okay, mine's is Dove. Mm. Yeah, mine's is Dove and I keep it in a soap container. Also bring a medium sized towel. You don't have to bring a big dry off towel. That's your choice. I bring the medium like shampoo type towel and a wash rag and I wash up dry off with that um that's pretty much all that I have things that I'm missing are you need body spray bring your preference of perfume or body spray it's always even if the house mom have them it's always good to smell unique and different from everybody else um what else am I missing you need body spray bring a shower cap um I'm missing something y'all toothbrush Definitely bring a toothbrush, okay? So you can freshen up your mouth, especially if you're a drinker or you like to eat at work, whatever. You wanna freshen up your teeth, you wanna freshen up your mouth. Or if you have braces like me, you have to go brush your teeth time to time. So bring a toothbrush. There's a ton of things you can bring, but this is what I have, you guys, and that is what is in my dance bag, you guys. Um, I just wanna say I love you. I'm gonna say I love you guys after every single video because you guys are like so crazy. like. I've never been uh, so loved in my life. Does that sound weird? Does that sound so, I feel, I sound neglected. That's, I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying like, by people that, that I don't even know. I don't even know you guys and you guys are showing me so much love and I really, really appreciate it. Um, it actually makes me kind of teary. I'm such a big baby. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, shout out to the JB Navy, man. We just growing and you guys are my babies. Like, I love you guys. So, um, send me some, um, requests. Send me some things that y'all want to know. Send me some things that y'all want to talk about. Send me all of that. You know, I'm just completely open to everything. So I just want to be me. I want y'all to be y'all and we all going to be great together. Salute to the JB Navy. That is it for today and I'm out.